Gravity Falls episode is full of secrets and mysteries, and that's why we love this show. However, many fans believe that the creators didn't reveal all the dark secrets of Gravity Falls. This series might be darker than it looks. That's why today we'll tell you about the top 10 dark fan theories about Gravity Falls. Number 1. The Time Baby and Time Guys Were Caught in a Loop Even though Bill Cipher is a very powerful creature, it seems unlikely that he could really wipe out Time Baby and the Time Travelers so simply. Some fans of the show have suggested that they could only die in that specific timeline, but not in all of the timelines of the multiverse. Sounds reasonable. After all, there still had to be someone to go around and repair time-traveling mistakes. In the final episode, Bill uses his powers to destroy the Universal Baby and the time-traveling guys. But uh, does he erase them from all their possible timelines? Highly unlikely, Mr. Fully Lover. Some of those creatures could time-travel again and again until they defeated him. So, nobody's destroyed for good, and this war could last forever because either Bill or Time Baby would try to take revenge on each other in the different timelines? That's another big mystery. But let's move on to some other incredible theories. Number 2. Gideon uses his amulet to damage his mother's mind. Do you remember Gideon's mother, Mrs. Gleeful? Of course, Mr. Scoffer. She doesn't appear in the show too often, but whenever she does, she seems, uh, kinda scared. Not scared, but traumatized. Viewers have suggested that Gideon is the cause of her strange behavior. So, is it possible that she was somehow trying to stop Gideon when he found Journal 2 and the magic amulet? That's exactly what some fans think, Mr. Fully Lover. Maybe Gideon used the amulet to damage her mind. This theory would explain her constant terror. That sounds awful. I never liked Gideon very much, but now he seems even more nasty. Number 3. Bill continues to possess Dipper after the sock opera. At the end of the sock opera episode, Dipper seemed to be free from Bill. But fans have pointed out that every time someone ended a deal with Cypher, they made it very clear. I remember. They usually say, the deal's off. Or, in Ford's case, they insert a metal plate in their heads. Yikes! However, Dipper never clearly tells Bill that their deal is off. So what's stopping him from possessing Dipper again and again later? Fans of the show use the book Dipper and Mabel's Guide to Mystery and Nonstop Fun to support this theory. If you pay close attention to the details in that book, you can clearly see that Bill most likely possessed Dipper while he slept. The book has Dipper writing on a page that Bill writes on later. But Bill needs a vessel to interact with the human world so he couldn't actually write in a book without using Dipper. Oh, that's so creepy! I hope this theory isn't true! Number 4. Dipper is not the pine tree symbol on the cipher. At the end of the show, the characters need to step on the cipher according to their symbols, and some viewers suggest that maybe Stan's interference isn't the only reason Bill didn't get banished. What if the characters stood on the wrong symbols? What do you mean, Mr. Fully Lover? Fans believe that Dipper and Wendy didn't really choose the correct symbols. They suspect that Wendy should have been on the pine tree, making Dipper's symbol the ice. That makes sense. Wendy is an outdoorsy type, and her family members are lumberjacks. A pine tree would fit her perfectly, especially since she and Dipper switch hats at the end of the show. As for Dipper, there is a more subtle explanation. Not only is he seen carrying ice on the show, but keeping his cool becomes an important part of his character as the show progresses. The ice could definitely represent someone who remains calm under pressure. While Wendy does fit that description, she stated that she is actually really stressed in the episode Society of the Blind Eye. Besides, dealing with pressure was a major part of Dipper's character arc. Number 5. Bill Cipher survived and is living in Grunkle Stan's mind. While Gravity Falls has a heartwarming ending, it seems a bit odd that Grunkle Stan gains his memories back so quickly. In a YouTube video by the film theorists, the author suggests that Bill is likely still alive inside Stan's mind, controlling him while he sleeps. Oh no! Not again, Mr. Scoffer! Oh hush! While hints are scattered throughout the show, the main clue is hidden in the third journal itself. It turns out that the memory ray's effects can be undone through exposure to important images and people from your past. The reason Stan recovered faster than the monster within him is because he started to recover while the erasure was still fresh, less than an hour after contact. So, if the ray's effects are undone when Stan regains his memories, doesn't that mean that Bill's still inside him? 
That's what fans suspect, Mr. Fully Lava. I think we can actually see some spooky similarities between Stan and Bill throughout the show. Each is really obsessed with their goal. They are cunning, calculating, and to varying degrees, both can be cruel. All these little hints provide evidence that Bill and Stan are still related, and that Bill isn't really gone. Number 6. Dipper would have died if he didn't befriend Pacifica. Let's see, the shapeshifter shows Dipper the last form he will ever take. Coincidentally, it's the same form he takes when he returns to the wood in Northwest Mansion Mystery. This makes it seem like Dipper was supposed to perish in this form, but then he found a way to change his fate. Do you think that was how his life was supposed to end? But it didn't, because he was willing to look beneath the surface and made an effort to understand Pacifica. What do you mean? Dipper and Pacifica initially don't get along, but as they get to know each other in this episode, they understand each other better. By being nice to Pacifica, Dipper changes what will happen in the end, causing Pacifica to open the gate and save his life. To be honest, I don't know how to feel about it. Was it a good thing that Dipper did it, or was there another, better solution? At least the next theory is less of a sad one and more of an exciting one. Number 7. Robbie has an evil clone. Oh, come on. Is there any evidence? Don't you remember? It wasn't Robbie's reflection in the mirror, or his reflection was distorted. Either way, it wasn't him. There was also a moment when Robbie has absolutely no memory of meeting Dipper. After that, some fans thought that Robbie definitely had a clone. It is possible that this is the case. Perhaps Robbie actually turned out to be a more positive character, and the clone did all the nasty things. Although it doesn't make it any easier, it's still scary! Number 8. Gravity Falls and Rick and Morty take place at the same time, in the same universes. If you've seen Rick and Morty, you'll know it's a show about interdimensional and interuniverse travel. And there have been some Easter eggs across the show that may mean that the Rick we follow in the show actually knows the Pines! Or Stanley Pines, at least. But how do we know this? In the second season in the series about the Society of the Blind Eye, we see Stanley admiring the portal as it grows in strength. As he approaches it, he loses three items. His mug, a pen, and a notepad. Wait a second! Aren't they from close Rick counters of a Rick kind? You know, when heroes escape the Rick law and shoot four separate portals before entering one in an attempt to lose their pursuers. In a blink and you will miss it moment, we can see that mug, pen, and notepad! That's what I'm talking about. And also, in Big Trouble in Little Sanchez, we can see a picture of Bill Cipher on the monitor behind Jerry. No wonder! That guy is all over the multiverse! That's why the next theory is about Bill. Again, number 9. Bill Cipher has a demon twin who's a star! And it could be Gideon! In the final two seasons, Bill is shown holding a Zolotol totem pole. Many people may not know that Zolotol is a mythical deity who is the god of twins, among other things. Zolotol also had a twin called Quetzalcoatl. Is it possible that Bill chose this totem to hold out of respect for his twin? But what does Gideon have to do with it? Do you remember Bill Cipher's wheel from the penultimate episode, Weir Mageddon 3, Take Back the Falls? If you look closely, you'll see that Gideon stands on a five-pointed star with an eye in the center. Could this be Bill's twin brother? Sounds intriguing. But then Bill didn't show his lost twin brother much respect by making him dance in a cage for his own amusement. Well, that's Bill. What more could you expect from him? Anyways, here's the last theory, and it's probably the darkest one. Number 10. Dipper has an incurable disease, and all his Gravity Falls adventures are just a coping mechanism. What? That's impossible! Or maybe Gravity Falls couldn't be possible in real life? Here are some interesting thoughts about this theory. As upsetting as it is, some fans suggest that throughout the show, Dipper has some kind of incurable disease. He invents Gravity Falls as a form of escapism from his reality. These fans suppose that all the anomalies in the town are the way Dipper sees all the challenges he faces, including his malady, lack of friends, losing Mabel, and many others. So, according to this theory, every character represents something else in Dipper's mind? Like a happy version of Mabel because she's so sad watching her brother go through his illness in real life? Exactly, Mr. Fully Lover. He also creates Ford because Ford is who he wants to be when he grows up. And the most haunting of all is Bill. Bill is the disease itself. 
When Dipper gets possessed by Bill on the show, that's his way of accepting his fate. At the end, Dipper's moving on from Gravity Falls. He leaves the fantasies about this mysterious town behind, and at the same time, he's leaving his whole life behind. Literally. That's horribly sad, Mr. Scoffer. I prefer to believe that everyone is alive, healthy, and happy. And Gravity Falls is real in the world of Alex Hirsch, who gave us this unforgettable, magical journey through it. So, what other curious theories have you heard about Gravity Falls? Let us know in the comments! And don't forget to subscribe to Cartoon Junkies!